Well, it is the wedding season for 2023 and with each wedding season that approaches in India, all eyes are always set on the Sabyasachi collection. What does the Sabyasachi collection have for that season's weddings? And Sabyasachi has yet again released his autumn collection uh, for weddings, for bridal wear and he has named it, he has named the camp uh, as Heritage 2023. And from what we are learning from his social media posts, the whole idea behind Heritage 2023 was indeed for him to show, to capture the heritage, the cultural heritage of our country. And the, this right behind me is from his official website. These are some of the pictures that he has put up from this particular uh, campaign of Heritage 2023, the new collection that has been launched. But definitely as uh, it has happened often in the past, Sabya Sachi's new collection brings with it another fresh round of controversies that are surrounding it particularly. Now what does this particular uh, launch, uh, this particular collection that has been launched have? Uh, which has become so controversial. This time, the netizens have to say, people who have been posting on social media, that the number of models who have been made to stand out there to launch this particular campaign, to launch this particular collection of Sabya Sachis, they all look like mummies. And they've in fact gone on to say that the heavy coal makeup and also the, a lot of their expressions have to look like as if this entire collection is not a bridal collection, but it is a collection that has come in for a particular season of mourning. In fact, people have gotten to that extent of even calling it a collection of mourning. And Sabya Sachi often in the past has uh, faced a lot of criticisms with regards to the the kind of campaigns that he's done, ad campaigns that he's done for his, the launches of his collections. Uh, in the recent past itself, there were uh, pictures of models. There was one uh, where there was a Mangal Sutra, uh, which was worn by a particular model who was almost semi-naked in his campaign, which had again uh, brewed a lot of controversy with regards to uh, Indian culture being questioned and how Indian culture is being portrayed. There have often been remarks that have come in from Sabya Sachi with regards to his own designs that have also meted out a lot of controversy and despite all of this and recently there was another uh, another such remark another such campaign where the models were not seen wearing bindi and there were questions with regards to if Indian women uh, are wearing Indian wear why are they not in bindi so there are a lot of questions that keep uh, cropping up with regards to Sabya Sachi and the collections that he launches but even then we've always seen that Sabya Sachi remains to be a number one choice be it in Bollywood there are the big Bollywood weddings that we have all seen, they are, they've all been Sabya Sachi brides, be it from uh, the time of Anushka Sharma who want, got married to Virat Kohli and even now we keep seeing Sabya Sachi's designs being worn and adorned by all these Bollywood actresses in on their big day on their big wedding days and yet Sabya Sachi does face criticism like he has in the past and this time it is the facial expressions that people have mainly spoken about where they've said that it doesn't look like a happy occasion for which you are launching your collection it doesn't look like a wedding uh, campaign that you have launched out there and despite these controversies even the common men those who can afford a Sabya Sachi they do look forward to buying Sabya Sachi collections so do let us know in the comment sections what do you think goes amiss in Sabya Sachi's campaign each time because despite him being trolled on internet he's still the man to look out for when it comes to bridal collections